I'm Dr. Ingrid Tall, and I'm the owner and cosmetic doctor here at Cosmetic Image Clinics within Aquarius Health and Medispa. This all started about 20 years ago when I was a medical reporter for Channel 10 doing a story on laser resurfacing. And I thought, what a wonderful career, let's get into it, and it snowballed from there. So now we have Queensland's largest cosmetic clinic, and we're also humble and proud to have received an award, which is an elite and prestigious award from Allergan Pfizer, the makers of the original muscle relaxant. And we're a black diamond, which means we're in the top 1% providers of, uh, of dispensing the muscle relaxant for facial and neck rejuvenation throughout Australia. So uh, we do a lot of it and uh, it's what we love doing. So if you're looking for facial rejuvenation that's very natural, that's uh, positively aging, that uh, gives you results that you really enjoy, that look healthy and refreshed, then Cosmetic Image Clinics is the place for you to come. We do a lot of muscle relaxant therapy, we do a lot of dermal fillers, we do a lot of cosmetic mole removing. We also uh, do all therapy or ultrasonic uh, lifting for sagging skin, which is ideal for jowls and under the chin. We're also a cool sculpting clinic, which is a fat freezing clinic. And cool sculpting helps get rid of those stubborn bulges that are difficult to move with, with uh, diet and exercise. We also do a lot of laser work. So we have one of the premier hair removing lasers by Luminous, the company that invented IPLs and it is one of the most pain free and fast and efficient effective uh, hair removing lasers on the market. We also do laser toning uh, in darker skins for pigmentation and this is very popular in the Asian community and Indian community and we also do laser tattoo removing and we do the black doll laser treatment or charcoal laser treatment for improving pores and freshening up the skin. Also laser genesis for mild collagen stimulation. And they're just some of the treatments that we do here at Cosmetic Image Clinics within Aquarius Health and Medispa. This day spa was awarded the best Medispa in Australasia by the Australian Spa Association and that was in 2014 and we're still the current holders of that uh, very prestigious award. So we're proud to be awarded the best Medi Spa in Australasia and we have a beautiful day spa which has a swimming pool 22 meters long, we have plunge pools hot and cold, we have a sauna, we have a steam room and we have a gym. So if you're looking for the body beautiful and the face beautiful, this is the right place to be. We offer everything from A to Z so you can relax and de-stress in the day spa bathhouse. You can have a facial or you can come in and see one of our cosmetic or plastic surgeons or ear, nose and throat surgeon who can uh, fulfill your needs and desires for plastic or cosmetic surgery. I'm the owner of Aquarius Health and Medi Spa and cosmetic doctor here at Cosmetic Image Clinics. We're at 70D Mary Street in the Brisbane CBD. Let me take you upstairs and show you around. So here we are at Aquarius Health and Medi Spa and Cosmetic Image Clinics. When you walk into the reception, you might meet perhaps Leah, our nurse, or Alison, our manager, or Michelle at reception. I greet you with a lovely, big, happy smile. Great, friendly service here. So come on into Cosmetic Image Clinics. Here we go. This is lovely Robin, the friendly voice at the end of the phone. And over here is one of the uh, consulting rooms. So. This is uh, where we do a lot of the injectables, cosmetic injectables for dermal skin fillers and, and muscle relaxant therapy. Sometimes afterwards, we put on an LED light face mask, which minimizes any bruising or swelling, which people might encounter if they have a fair bit done. Always before a procedure, we take a photograph 
and document things and this is our professional photography room. In here is where we do a lot of our cosmetic mole removal and there's no scalpels, no sutures. We just pop a little bit of local anaesthetic in and then shave her down flat. Quick and easy, takes less than 15 minutes. And just across the corridor is our IPL room. This is our luminous M22, brilliant, top of the range, state of the art. Our photo rejuvenation machine and behind this closed door because someone's in there is our cool sculpting room. So this is our IPL or intense pulse light machine. It's by Luminous. Luminous invented IPLs you know two or three decades ago and uh, so this is the top of the range state-of-the-art. It's uh, ideal for minimizing pigmentation. It helps redness and, and excessive blood vessels in the face, for instance, that you encounter with rosacea. And uh, it even helps with bruising after a cosmetic procedure as well. So very different to the $5,000 IPL machines you can buy from China in many beauty therapy salons. This one, $80,000 and it does the best IPL in town. trainers such as Dave and then they can relax after their workout in the day spa and just rest their weary muscles. We have uh, nurses here, we have a plastic surgeon, uh, two of those that have come, we've got near nose and throat and a cosmetic surgeon, we've got beauty therapists, we have a personal trainer, we have a physiotherapist on site, we have fitness classes as well and if you just want to just hang out, relax and unwind in Australia's best Medispa, you can also do that as well. Just going to start now, a little bit of ice, often we have a vibrating tool as well which we apply to her cheek to minimise uh, any discomfort and here we go, nice and relaxed Gina. Well done. That's fabulous. How are you going there? Good. That's great. ISA uh, and the vibrating instrument really takes your mind off things. That's fantastic. There we go. And that eye is gone. So now we're going to move on to Jerry's forehead. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? We're just going to soften these little lines here. Well done, Jerry. Relax now. That's fantastic little bit of uh, normally we put a vibrating thing on the chin which takes your mind off things the pain fibers pick up pain and vibration so if you if you're using a vibrating tool then uh, that can take uh, their mind off the pain and it's really effective. Is, uh, putting on a freezing ice alternative which uh, keeps things nice and cold chin up for me a little bit thanks Emily Big breath in, Emily. Well done, Mum. That's great. More? No, that looks awesome. No, great. No. Did you want us to put any makeup on you now? Yeah, you can definitely put Good. some makeup on me, and Excellent. no one will, will even know. That's great. Well done. <laughs> this is Melinda, our beauty therapist at Aquarius yeah. Health and Medi Spa and Cosmetic Image Clinics. Mm -hmm. And uh, she is treating someone with the fractional resurfacing Fractora machine. Mm -hmm. You can see here Melinda mm -hmm. is stamping the mm -hmm. face in a, in a procedure that's very similar to IPL. How's it feeling, Robin? Good. Okay. Let me know how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. 
You okay? Yes. Still feeling all right? Mm -hmm. with dawn it looks a little daunting because you think this is a needle but it's not actually a needle it's actually a little a little uh, tube so it's not sharp and what we do is we just gently infiltrate using this cannula just under the skin and it just over time causes that collagen stimulation and so the whole idea is to basically just add the volume to the face. Now Dawn said this is very, very uh, cost effective for her. And when you think of mill for mill, probably out of one of these, you're going to get approximately about four mils of uh, filling, maybe a little bit more over time after about a year. And if you equate that to the cost of dermal fillers versus sculpture, this is a, mm. a very economical way of doing it. So how are you feeling, Dawn? Good. That's terrific. At Aquarius on the Medispa, we love hosting hens parties and bucks parties and just parties. We love to party. We have a liquor license. And if you want to party with a difference, this is the venue to hire. We have a swimming pool, we have hot and cold plunge pools, we have a steam room, we have uh, male and female saunas, or if you hire the venue, you can combine it. We have a gymnasium, not that many people like to use that at their parties, but it's available. And, uh, and also, if you want to freshen up with some appearance medicine before your party, come to Cosmetic Image Clinics. We have uh, personal cosmetic consultants that can advise you on what you require or what you would like. Tell us how you'd like to improve your appearance, what annoys you, what you like about yourself, and we can give you a complimentary consultation on the latest technology and state-of-the-art technology and services that we offer that can help you achieve your goals.
So this is a, a medically supervised clinic, a safe and trusted medically supervised clinic. Uh, it's different from a chain store uh, where you can have a doctor Skyping in from Sydney and a, a nurse operator working without close medical supervision. Uh, we have a very experienced uh, medical team here with surgeons, cosmetic and plastic surgeons, an ear, nose and throat surgeon and uh, I'm a cosmetic doctor with 20 years experience in the cosmetic medicine industry and our nurses are also well trained and medically supervised here. So we're proud to give you that ring of confidence that you need because it's a terrifying experience to just see something on the internet and go, well, let's go and try it. Um, often videos can give you that sense of reassurance. So we'd like to take you on a tour of uh, Aquarius Health and Medispire and Cosmetic Image Clinics so you know what you're in for when you arrive. And um, we're looking forward to giving you uh, some friendly service. Ask whatever questions you have and we look forward to seeing you here in Cosmetic Image Clinics at 70D Mary Street in the CBD of Brisbane and right next to the Mantra Hotel in um, Mary Street, second level, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Come on in. So here we are with Yoland at Aquarius Health and Medispa and Cosmetic Image Clinics, and Brittany is the beauty therapist who's sculpting her eyebrows while Yolan is having cool sculpting on her mummy tummy. So she's relaxing while she's getting her secondary beauty therapy and this is her cool sculpting applicator head which is attached to her uh, muffin top. She is a very mild muffin top. How are you Dan? Very well thank you. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about cool sculpting please Dan. Certainly. So cool sculpting is a permanent fat reduction treatment. It essentially sucks up the fat, pop it into a vacuum, chills it to a near zero degree temperature, and over the period of around about three months, the client will see a 20 to 25 percent reduction in fat. See and the fat, we just remove this cushion here and just hold the applicator in place. And you can see the fat is being sucked up into the handle. There's the little suction cup you can see the fat goes up to about here and on the side are very cold plates which effectively freeze the fat and it spares the skin around it with a protective pad and the skin isn't nearly as sensitive as the fat to these uh, thermal uh, extremes of temperature. And how are you feeling, Yolan? Uh, well, part of me is very cold, <laughs> but good. Excellent. We offer a wide range of cosmetic services here at Cosmetic Image Clinics within Aquarius Health and Medispa. We are the Black Diamond status uh, in the top 1% provider in Australia of the original muscle relaxant therapy. So we do a lot of that. We also do a lot of dermal and, uh, and lip skin fillers. Uh, also we do hydrofacials, which is a lovely hydrating microderm abrasion medical facial treatment. We also have cool sculpting fat freezing and uh, also we've got all therapy which is ultrasonic non-surgical face lifting especially for the jowls and under the chin. We also do a lot of fractional resurfacing for facial skin rejuvenation which can improve your your skin texture and tone, turn back the ears, plump up your skin and help improve fine crepey skin and, and small lines and uh, wrinkles. We also offer the state-of-the-art IPL or intense pulse light for photo rejuvenation. Our IPL machine isn't a run-of-the-mill Chinese beauty therapist uh, machine. It is the best machine you can buy on the market. It's an M22 by the original inventor of IPL, Luminous. And if you're looking for an IPL photo rejuvenation which improves redness, improves pigmentation, helps for instance with rosacea, helps the sun damage and uh, little solar dyschromias that we have, 
Then the M22 IPL photo rejuvenation machine we have is the top of the range, state of the art, and uh, we're very proud to have that. do a lot of cosmetic mole removing. With this we often use a Surgitron Elman machine, a radio frequency machine, which planes it down flat, a little bit of local anaesthetic, and there's no stitching and no cutting. And if necessary, we also use laser technology, such as our Q-switched NDAG uh, laser, which can help light and pigmentation as well. Here we have Kelly doing her radio frequency Elman mole removal and uh, she's infiltrated the local anaesthetic and now she's just planing it down flat with the radio frequency Elman mm, Surgitron nothing. machine nothing? Mm. and this actually cauterizes the blood vessels as it goes along so we've got a relatively bloodless field and how's it feeling Carly? Uh, nothing, nothing really. I sort of feel, can feel the little zappy zappy like in the air, but nothing on my skin. Good. So you smell a little bit of smoke as this happens. And this just continues until the mole is flat. And then ideally you keep it covered 24-7 with a band-aid for about 10 days and by then the skin is healed over and after that then you can massage it and uh, that minimizes the risk of it raising up and also use some silicon gel or silicon sheeting which minimizes the risk of scarring of the mold. What made you do this Carly? Um, oh, well, a few people were commenting on it, and, um, and then it just has started bothering me this last summer with halter neck tops and, and that sort of thing, so I just thought, why not get rid of it if it's this simple? Well done. So these compound nevi is the medical term, and they continue to raise up generally as we mature in years and get slightly larger. This phenomenon also happens in pregnancy where these little moles can become a little bit bigger during pregnancy as well. A lot of people don't like them because children can focus on them and you know say what's that and people become self-conscious. The easier moles are the lighter moles on lighter skinned people. Uh, the more difficult moles are the the flatter, very dark moulds. And uh, in those flatter, dark ones, you can get some residual pigment occasionally on the bottom uh, of the wound when it's flush with the skin and the technician often doesn't want to keep going because it increases the risk of scarring the deeper you go. You can see here that it's being plain down flush with the skin so it's nice and flat. There's no residual pigmentation here, which is excellent. So Carly will get a very good cosmetic result with this. Often the area, once it's healed, uh, it is a little bit pinkish and inflamed for six to eight weeks. Can be longer in Celtic origin people who have reddish hair and freckles. They might be a little reddish or pink for longer, but usually this is only a few weeks. And then often the the actual lesion slightly lighter than the surrounding skin once that, that uh, pinkish, slightly inflamed look has settled down. It's marvellous how there's no bleeding whatsoever here. Looks really good. And how's it going there? Good. All done. Nice and flat. It's all done. 
Fantastic. Yay. That looks great. What a marvellous job. And how was that experience, Carly? No problem. Nothing. Nothing That's at great. all. great. Yeah. Well, it's all done. Yay. <laughs> That's terrific. Say hello, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. So here we are in the gym in Aquarius Health and Medi Spa. People working out on their own, sometimes in a class, doing boxing classes or Pilates, sometimes with a personal trainer, such as Dave over here. Say hi, Dave. Hello. <laughs> and here we are in Aquarius Health and Medi Spa in the beauty treatment rooms. This is a quiet end of the spa where people enjoy a bamboo massage, a hot stone massage, remedial relaxation massage, lovely facials. Uh, you can have manicure and pedicure done as well. People often come in here and have a hens party and, and uh, congregate also around the swimming pool, enjoy the, uh, the liquor license, have a drink or two and unwind or prepare for the big day. And this is our Asian inspired bathhouse at Aquarius of the Medi Spa. We've got a lovely hot and cold lunch pool. Over here we've got a lovely expansive finished dry sauna and uh, change rooms out there. And going through that door we have the beautiful indoor heated swimming pool and steam room. Let's have a look. dry finish sauna at Aquarius Health and Medi Spa. You can relax, take it easy, you can sweat out your toxins, you can uh, just simply unwind in this lovely sauna or you've got a steam room to choose from as well. So this is the women's, there's also a male separate sauna and uh, afterwards you can plunge into the hot and cold plunge pools and cool off. And as you can see I'm in the steam room here. So plenty of steam in our ladies and gents uh, steam room. Afterwards have a quick shower and pop into the swimming pool. 
And here we have the beautiful indoor heated swimming pool around 28, 29 degrees throughout summer and winter where you can float your cares away. Hi, I'm Gina. I'm here for my next um, cool sculpting treatment. Um, I've already done this side and now we're about to do this, one, this side. So we're just going to show the application for you. We apply this gel pad. This gel pad helps protect the skin um, and form a bit of a barrier as well. sucking up the area that we're going to work on. It's an odd feeling and people will sometimes feel just a little uncomfortable or uneasy as it's sucking the skin up. Just don't take a minute and it feels fine. And the time has just expired. Gina has been having on half of her belly here. Sometimes you do one cool max right across the belly and sometimes you focus on more separate pockets. And this is her little butter stick, which Maria is now rather vigorously massaging. You can see it's a little bit red. Some people have a little bit of bruising from, uh, from the suction of the cup. And how are you feeling? Not Gina? too bad. It's good. Yeah. Excellent. Looking forward to the results, huh? Yep. So generally it takes two to three months to see the full results and three weeks to begin. Sometimes people even have a, a result that they see after a couple of weeks with this. How does it feel, Maria? Quite cool to touch. Mm -hmm. Still, it's getting a little bit more pliable as the heat's getting back into mm -hmm. that area. That's excellent. Alrighty, so if you'd like to have your cool sculpting done here at Cosmetic Image Clinics, Maria and Gina both do it. And maybe Gina will even show you her, her after tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, see you soon. What made you get it done in the first place? Um, I just remember seeing someone with them and I was young and impressionable and I thought they were awesome and I wanted them. So I got them and I've had them for six years and I'm sad to have them go, but yeah. What are they actually called? Uh, get, I think it's like gouged, gauged ears, like stretching, um, I don't know what else you call them. Gauged ears? <laughs> yeah, like. Like G A U G E. Ah, oh, okay, that's yeah. good. All right, and what's made you decide to reverse um, it? They got infected once, and it was just awful pain. And so I took them out, and they closed. And I don't want to restretch them, so we're getting them closed up. <laughs> oh. So not really something I really want to do, but I do. I might as well do it now. And how do you feel before the procedure? I feel nervous, but I know it's going to be okay. That's just me. <laughs> now, Dr. Allen, how common is this procedure? Uh, we've seen quite a lot of patients these days. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Hannah's problem is slightly different. We also see a lot of torn ear lobes as well, because the heavy jewellery uh, one over the years, and uh, they, they're quite common in the community. Uh, some people don't even come to get them uh, corrected, but uh, from time to time we see them. And, um, 
I think it's, uh, in the last, uh, I would say, 10 years, uh, I would have done at least uh, maybe around 20 or 30, but not exclusively because I was only doing them, because occasionally I would see, see them. But uh, once people know that uh, somebody can repair those, they tell their friends and other people, and, and they definitely would come to have them. And how do you repair it then? Well, in, in case of henna, which is obviously overstretched tissue, or chronic uh, um, uh, expansion of the tissue, uh, we will have to remove a part of that and uh, refashion the edges of the skin so that it can join back and uh, do in um, uh, basically interrupted stitches on both sides, front and back. So um, it's like a wedge excision and, and, and repair. How painful is it? As long as the local anesthetic is working properly, she shouldn't have any pain at all. The only pain she'll feel is with the needle, first needle. And the risks involved with this? Uh, like any surgery, bleeding is always a risk and infection. Bleeding here would be pretty minimal. Uh, there's no risk of hematoma, but yes, yeah, sometimes a little blood can droop or ooze, and all she needs is a bit of pressure applied for, the, for about five to ten minutes. Uh, infection, obviously, is always a problem, so we need to make sure that uh, antibiotics are given to cover that, and usually they heal very well. The stitches are not going to be there for too long, five to seven days at the most, and we can remove them. Fantastic. Thank you. Dr. Ingrid Tall from Cosmetic Image Clinics at Aquarius Health and Medi Spa, and today I'm here with Emily. Emily is wanting a little bit of a subtle uh, lip filling done, and her concern is that she does have a thinner, particularly thinner upper lip, and also that she's got some very fine little vertical lip lines. Uh, she was a, a smoker in the past, and and smoking does take its toll. Uh, and it helps shrink the lip a little bit so then you get those little vertical lip lines and um, and they're fairly easily treated with lip filler where you just uh, superficially run a little bit of filler down those lip lines and then you try to crispen up also the lip line border so the secret to lip augmentation or lip filling is that you don't put in too much into the lip line border. Young people tend to have very good lip line borders but just want more in the body of their lip and uh, if you actually fill too much in the lip line border it can give them the trout pout, they can look uh, like they've had their lips done, something out of Melbourne Housewives or or um, something from Beverly Hills where people often uh, just have too much filler and too much really put in that lip line border. So with younger people, important to enhance the body of the lip and not the lip line border. So you can inject little micro pearls deeper into the body of the lip and avoid enhancing that border which can make them look artificial and trout party. So a lot of people are concerned that it might be very painful. You can actually have a lip lock like at the dentist and you can have some numbing cream applied beforehand and then uh, you can have local anesthetic injected just under the lip line um, border and then that numbs pretty perfectly the entire lip. Sometimes you feel a little bit at the corners or in the midline but mostly it's very very comfortable and people can hardly feel anything at all. Other people choose to have uh, numbing cream for about half an hour before then you can also apply ice and we also tend to like using a vibrating instrument to take your mind off what's going on and we even actually do many of our procedures in a massage chair so your whole mind and body is being distracted by lots of sensations and it takes your your focus away from the actual needle and uh, the discomfort that can be associated with that so usually it's about a year that the treatment lasts 
Some people are unlucky and get six, nine months out of it, but the majority of people uh, have the lip filler lasting a year. Uh, it's not that you need to do it every year too. Usually the first one, the first time is the shortest, lasts about a year. The second one tends to last longer and longer. And I've even seen um, one client where it lasted seven years. So it's very variable in people. It, it is very common after a little bit of swelling for the first couple of weeks that people forget the way they used to look before they had the lip filler and they think the lip fillers uh, disappeared but it's um, important to take photos before so you can go oh yes the filler is there uh, it hasn't gone away it's just that you tend to very quickly forget after the swelling has been there just how the lips were before so usually when people want to have a more voluptuous lip or if they want to treat the little vertical lip line um, that is associated with smoking or age then they have lip filler Sometimes though, you can use a muscle relaxant to actually create a, a slightly more enhanced lip volume and also you can soften those little vertical lip lines, sometimes referred to as the barcode of a woman's age. So the circular muscle around the mouth, if you just relax it a little bit with a little bit of muscle relaxant, then it just, it just relaxes that sphincter around the mouth and then it doesn't tense up and, and cause those little lip lines so much. Yeah, so lip fillers, they often feel lumpy for a few weeks after. They don't look lumpy, but you can feel the lip filler is firmer than your natural lip for a few weeks often. That's perfectly normal. And, you know, kissing doesn't, doesn't make any difference to eating, drinking or kissing. So it's not a problem and it settles down. It is uh, not uncommon to have a little bit of bruising and it's more likely to have bruising if in the last, last couple of weeks you've had Nurofen, Aspirin, multivitamins, fish oil. So good to avoid those things for two weeks before your lip filling treatment. Uh, also, you can have that swelling of course that will last generally two or three days but there's a little bit of swelling that lasts for a couple of weeks. People often like that little bit of swelling too and get disappointed when the swelling goes because they liked that extra volume that occurs. Uh, allergy to lip filler is very, very rare, probably about one in five to 10,000. So it's a very safe procedure and it can be done quite painlessly. If you like to have a, a dental lip block, uh, some people just prefer to have a little bit of numbing cream and uh, sit in a massage chair and have a vibrating instrument on their cheek and that takes their mind off what's going on as well. Emily, what do you want to achieve today? Um, I just want to uh, kind of just straighten out some of the lines on the top of my, um, I feel like I've still got some from smoking mm -hmm. and just want to get a little bit of volume on that top lip. Yeah. Excellent. So you want to enhance the top lip more. Do you want any extra volume in the bottom lip as well? Um, I, I, <laughs> um, yeah, so I just want to kind of look even and um, yeah, so no one will really know. And Good, so you want it really subtle. Really subtle. You know, for the yeah. first two or three days, you can have a little bit of swelling that mm -hmm. just can make you look a little bit kind of done, just temporarily. Mm -hmm. I can put on a little corticosteroid cream just to minimize the swelling. Any questions you want to ask me about lip filling? Um, will it hurt a lot? So, we, numbing cream, you've had that on for half an hour. We're going to use this trusty, funny little vibrating thing, which takes mm -hmm. your mind off things. So if you just gently put that on your cheek when I yeah. get started. And also I've got some ice, so I'm going to... Any other questions that you'd like to ask? Um, the, how long does it last? Mm, usually about a year. But each time you have it, it tends to last longer and longer. So you now, let's start this crazy little vibrating thing. And normally we have the chair going as well, Emily, but it gets a little bit noisy. Now head towards me, don't that's the way. Good. And so what I'm doing is uh, putting on a freezing ice alternative, which uh, keeps things nice and cold. Chin up for me a little bit. Thanks, Emily. And then we just go into the top of the cupid's bow. How are you going there, Emily? Well done. Big breath in, Emily. Well done, Mum. That's great. So what we're doing is just popping a little bit to create a little more definition in the cupid's bow area. 
working really well. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Great. Perfect. That's the way. Very good. Just working our way, just popping these little micro pearls into the body of the lip. Excellent. Looks good. It always feels a little bit lumpy for you know a few weeks. That's mm -hmm. just normal. Don't worry about that. It'll settle down and, and you won't feel it after a few weeks. Okay, that's good. Need a little bit in there. That's great. Big breath in. Good. Just nice to make that little Paris lip or Cupid's bow a little bit more. Always good to avoid anything that thins out your blood before lip fillers, mm -hmm. such as aspirin, urofen, multivitamins and fish oil. Just want you to keep your fluid up a little bit for the next uh, three days. Big breath in Emily Gorn. A little bit more this way, thank you, Emily. Some people have half a mil of lip filler. Some people even have, you know, 0.3 of a mil. So we're only doing a little bit on Emily. Today she can always top up at any time. Also, it's always nice to know that if you don't like it, that there is an antidote. We rarely have to use it. Good to know that you can dissolve lip filler. Great. Good. So Emily, we've put in a little bit less than half a mil, and if you want, we can keep going. If you want to, just see how you feel with this. Yeah. No, that looks and great. That's subtle. It's subtle, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. I mean, it'll come back a little bit, mm -hmm. and you'll probably miss the swelling, but we can always add in more. Oh, no, well, that's awesome. I Great. Like Did yeah. you want us to put any makeup on you now? Yeah, you can definitely put good. some makeup on me, and Excellent. no one will, will even know. That's great. Well done. <laughs> it'll feel a little bit numb for about half an hour, mm -hmm. but that will settle down and disappear. Great. Great. Excellent. Okay. At Aquarius Health and Medispa, we love hosting hens parties and bucks parties and just parties. We love to party. We have a liquor license. And if you want to party with a difference, this is the venue to hire. We have a swimming pool. We have hot and cold plunge pools. We have a steam room. We have uh, male and female saunas, or if you hire the venue, you can combine it. We have a gymnasium. Not that many people like to use that at their parties, but it's available. And... Uh, and also, if you want to freshen up with some appearance medicine before your party, come to Cosmetic Image Clinics. We have uh, personal cosmetic consultants that can advise you on what you require or what you would like. Tell us how you'd like to improve your appearance, what annoys you, what you like about yourself, and we can give you a complimentary consultation on the latest technology and state-of-the-art technology and services that we offer that can help you achieve your goals.
now we're going to move on to Jerry's forehead. Can you raise your eyebrows for me? We're just going to soften these little lines here. Well done, Jerry. Relax now. That's fantastic. A little bit of... Uh, normally we put a vibrating thing on the chin, which takes your mind off things. The pain fibers pick up pain and vibration. So if you... If you're using a vibrating tool, then uh, that can take uh, their mind off the pain and is really effective. And even just tapping, tapping on the forehead can be good. Some people use ice as well. And you only want to put, you know, generally about half dose in the forehead because you don't want too much. It can give you that waxy, shiny mm -hmm. forehead and people can tell that you've had Botox there. Raise up your eyebrows and relax. However, you don't want people to look spocky, so up again, so a little bit there laterally is good just to soften that kind of Botox look that mm. people can get, and we want to avoid that and make people look really natural. So now we'll put a little bit in here. This brings up the medial eyebrows and can help with those horizontal little lines as well. Oh, yeah. Just frown for me. That's great, Jerry. I'm relaxing now. That's good. Big breath in and relaxing. Excellent, and frown again, and relax, excellent. Very good, frown again, and relax, that's good. Wonderful, how's it feeling, Jerry? Oh, it's really not worrying me at all. That's great, well done. Now, um, interestingly, Botox in the frown has been shown to decrease stress and lower the incidence of depression. Big smile for me. And uh, thank you, Jerry, and relaxing. It doesn't work when you put Botox in the eyes and the forehead with respect to de-stressing and, and uh, having that antidepressant effect, but interestingly, only in the frown. It's thought that maybe because we're not frowning and scowling so much, that um, that's how it has that effect on a person's psyche. But what a lovely side effect is that. Mm. <laughs> and we're nearly there, Jerry. Excellent. We're just putting a little half dose here around the eyes. Um, you know, an actor's light dose, very natural, doesn't get rid of all the lines, doesn't get rid of all the movement, but just softens mm. and gives you a lovely natural look. Yeah. So those little lumps and bumps, they'll soften in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And in an hour, that'll all be gone. I want uh, you, Jerry, to move your muscles for the next hour. Mm -hmm. So every five minutes or so, frown, raise your eyebrows and smile your head off for one hour. No lying down for three hours, no aerobics or gym jumping up and down too much for the next three hours. And it'll take two weeks to really kick in, but you'll notice it around three to five days. Good. Well done. How was that? Easy. Great. <laughs> there we go. So uh, hopefully we'll see you in the clinic. Bye-bye. Now here we are with Gina, our nurse, and Yolan, she's having all therapy. And uh, also we have Shani from Mertz, who is uh, the product advisor for all therapy and knows all about what's involved with this procedure. Can you explain a little bit, Shani, what so it does? What we're doing here today is we're treating with ultrasound. Um, it's a very precise, um, deep, treatment we're treating down to the very structure of the skin layers um, using ultrasound which is causing a lifting and tightening effect which is what we all want as we age um, you know, going forward so what areas are generally used with this shiny so generally we're treating um, the facial areas, so underneath the neck, so the turkey neck, the sagging skin there, the jowl area. Um, we do get a nice brow lift as well, um, but generally it's a, a full face treatment as well as the neck can be involved in that as well. 
And, and these areas are TGA approved here That's in Australia. Correct. It Definitely. came through in 2014, which That's is very correct. exciting. Very exciting. There's also some so-called off-label uses for oil therapy. Can you tell us about those? So really it can be used anywhere on the body um, where we want to create a tightening and a lifting effect. But um, it's up to the discretion of the practitioner to do so because that's it is off there and no problems. Yeah. Can you tell me what it feels like to have this Yoland? Uh, little zaps and no flinching except when the cold gel goes on. <laughs> so it's not painful no. as such, no. And um, and what generally happens with the uh, the therapeutic value here? Uh, so first of all, they get a little bit of redness, maybe a little correct. bit of swelling, a little bit of swelling, a little bit of edema. Um, generally, it, it's a no downtime procedure, so most patients will walk out the door and can go back to their work, or um, it can be a lunchtime procedure. Um, then basically over a sort of a three month period, we see the collagen regenerating. So it does take that long for the process to um, begin and uh, the wound healing process to kickstart basically. So um, after about three to six months, you'll see a nice rejuvenated lifting effect. And this is the only TGA approved a device which can actually create lifting, is that right? That's correct, that's correct. So this fills a gap between non-surgical and surgical for jaw lifting, neck lifting as such, brow lifting, that's but can it be used in conjunction with other therapies? Most definitely, most definitely, that's um, yeah, very doable. It can also be used post-surgery, so people that have had um, surgery facelifts in the past and are wanting a little bit more after that procedure um, probably you know maybe a year or two later they can opt for oil therapy instead of going surgically again. And so. is there anything that can go wrong with uh, oil therapy? Uh, not really um, there's some minor side effects that can happen so you're swelling you're bruising with some patients um, a little bit of redness but uh, with our trained physicians and technicians um, you know, there's, there's really no room for error there. Well, that's very exciting development. Yeah. All therapy, TGA approved here in Australia Correct. for bra lifting, jaw lifting, neck lifting, and decolletage mm -hmm. or chest rejuvenation. Can you tell Correct. us about that a little bit, Shine? So that's a new indication that's just come about. So um, rejuvenating the decolletage. Here in Australia, we suffer from a lot of sun damage. So I think it's going to be a very popular treatment. Um, and that's something that you know you can offer your patients as well. That's terrific. Thank yeah. you very much, Shani. Thank you, Yoland, and thank you, Gina. And if you're interested, please don't hesitate to contact us here at Cosmetic Image Clinics. It's www.cosmeticimageclinics.com.au or 073003 And we look forward to seeing you. Bye for now. or to some as regen. Now platelet rich plasma is a treatment where we actually harvest the platelets from a person's blood by a simple blood test and we spin it down in a centrifuge here on site and the blood component is left behind and we use the straw colored plasma. Now this is very rich in, platelet, uh, in platelets and uh, these are rich in collagen are stimulating factors and growth factors. So it's this that actually improves uh, the texture and tone of the skin uh, and uh, that is often used then for treatments around the eyes, for the fine lines around the eyes, just in the face in general and also in lines, for lines in the neck. So it improves the thickness of the skin by boosting and stimulating the collagen growth. So Maria had uh, a simple blood test just uh, taken and then we spun it down in the centrifuge and this is an example of the plasma which is what we're going to infuse into her skin. With a little, here we go, big breath in Maria, a little, um, a little entry site for the cannula and with, she feels a little bit of pulling and tugging and the ice has made that a little more comfortable and then 
we start infusing the, um, the product through that entry site. Very good. And then we just work our way through those lines and infusing the plasma. Can you pop your chin up for me please, Maria? Well done. It takes us about five minutes or so to, uh, to do the whole neck, not very long. 